the final cost on this engine build for the long block was. Oh my god, almost. What's going on everybody? Back for another video. As you can see in here behind me, we got the turbo two valve idling, warming up a little bit on this beautiful day. Finally feeling like spring. Uh, but today we're gonna briefly discuss probably the number one requested question I get on all the YouTube comments for this car and also in our uh, DMs on Instagram is how much did we spend to build the two valve long block to hold all the power we're about to throw at it. Honestly, the price shocked me because I've never actually tallied it up until now, but uh, it's probably gonna shock you as well. But without further ado, let's drive to a park and we'll talk about how much it costs us. As you can see, I forgot a lawn chair for myself. Uh, rookie mistake, but it's all good. I think this is gonna be a pretty quick video, all said and done. We're just gonna roll through how much all this costs us to build a long block that's capable of 1,000, maybe 1,200 horsepower, something like that. So let's start with the short block. We'll go from the pistons, kind of the rotating assembly, hardware, things like that, and then engine builder cost. So pistons, we went with DSS K2 FX series, negative three CC dish, two valve flat top pistons. That ran me $799. Uh, pretty steep, but DSS is a pretty reputable brand from what I've heard. Now the one thing people did say to upgrade was the wrist pin, so I said might as well while we're you know doing this whole process, we're gonna go with the extreme duty wrist pins. That ran me $295. We went with King HP main bearing set. It was $115. We went with the Clivite high performance rod bearing set. Sorry if I pronounce some of these wrong. 115 as well. Uh, now for the rods. I did a lot of research on what rods to run. I know a lot of people run kind of like a budget coyote rod. They'll save you a lot of money, but we had money in the budget for this. So um, I went with the Molnar power adder rods. I believe they're capable of like 1200, 1400 horsepower, something crazy like that. But I mean, it's always better to overbuild than underbuild or build right to what you want to make. The rods ran me $679. Um, onto the crankshaft, so we went with a Manly 4340 forged crankshaft. That was $1,199. That's a steep, steep price to swallow, but I mean, I believe that crankshaft's rated for right around what I said before for the rods, like 1,100-ish, 1,000, somewhere around there. So this car is probably never gonna see a thousand to the crank. Uh, it might see pretty close depending, you know, how well the build goes and everything like that. But um, that was a steep price, and a lot of people run the Kellogg cranks um, from the Cobras. I kind of want to just play it safe since I do plan on pushing over like six, seven hundred maybe. So I just wanted to play on the safe side, and that's a price I was willing to, you know, go with. Now on to some of the hardware. This block pretty much has all ARP hardware. And that's a tough pill to swallow, as most of you know, if you've bought ARP hardware, it is not cheap. So the main stud kit was $129. The head stud kit was $429. And the main side bolt kit was $57.99. So that's a lot of money just in hardware. We also did the balancer bolt, which was $23.99. So a lot of money in hardware, but that's something that's just kind of like cheap insurance in a way. I mean, why put a whole engine together, plan on pushing that much power and really putting that much strain on the engine? Uh, might as well just bite the bullet and buy it, cry once, buy once. Shipping and credit card process fee for, I think most of that tallied up to $226.44. A lot of the shipping I think was from the crankshaft. That thing was freaking heavy. ATI damper, that was $365.31. Pretty much a lot of people were on the ATI dampener, so I said, probably can't go wrong with that. I believe I got that off Summit Racing. And last but not least, we did a Ford oil pan gasket. That was $111.24. So, 
that's a pretty steep price for a gasket but from what I've heard that's what you want to run and uh, that pretty much sums it up for the short block for the parts and obviously some of you are capable of you know building this yourself I am not I didn't have the time nor the experience I've never done it before um, I would have loved to but just wasn't the right you know time for it so I paid Ed Thomas down in Delaware to do this engine build I forget exactly how long it took probably a couple months he was pretty backed up at the time and I said hey I just need a short block build I can do the rest so he kind of fit me in as is and we'll just go over you know what what he did basically in the final price um, so all this included got me new oil plugs rear main seal uh, he cleaned the block and the crank installed the ARP studs line honed it honed the cylinders he balanced the whole assembly there was a charge for two extra pieces of Mallory for the crankshaft polished the crankshaft and prepped it the final wash and prep for the block the assembly that was included in this final price clearancing the block for counterweights uh, the labor was assemble short block and saw rear main seal and then I had him weld a uh, AN bung on the side for the turbo drain and all that said and done came to two thousand one hundred and fifty dollars so you know that's where it kind of pays off to save a lot of money if you're if you know how to build these engines but like I said before I didn't have the time nor the skill set to do it hopefully the next engine build I will tackle myself and save a good chunk of change there but he's got a really good reputation so that's something I was willing to pay for so the final price for the short block was six thousand seven hundred thirty eight dollars and forty seven cents that's a lot of money for the bottom end but you know you got to pay to play and as you guys saw previous version of this car it uh grenaded the piston ring land on 435 horsepower 458 foot pounds of torque i believe running seven and a half pounds of boost absolute blast but that bottom ends a ticking time bomb so you know is what it is so yeah let's move to the heads cams and all the upper portion of this engine build all right figured i'd switch up the angle a little bit this section is going to be a lot shorter a lot less parts involved we'll go over the the head work i had done a machine shop here in new jersey final cost for that was one thousand four hundred fifty four dollars and eight cents uh, so what that includes was cleaning them assembly they label it as head kit which is 343 a piece so that was 686 dollars even i opted for manly 45 and a half millimeter intake valves and we went with manly 37 millimeter exhaust valves the intake valves were 180 dollars 37 cents the exhaust valves were $178.48. And we also did Manly Springs. I think the part number here, uh, 2214-27-16, ran me $318.82. And I put a deposit down. All said and done, like I said, that $1,454 number. Um, so that's, I think, right around what I've heard heads kind of run, like $1,500 ish. And these are the PI heads that I have on the. Uh, the two valve here you can run trick flow i think those run even more expensive but they provide a lot better airflow so before we were running modular head shop stage two naturally aspirated cams um for before we went turbo then we stuck with those cams they actually did pretty good all things considered but there was definitely a lot left on the table to improve on so like most people do i hit up todd warren he spec me some custom cams for what i wanted to do with this car my goals and everything and I also drove out to Ohio and had him degree them highly recommend you have someone degree them uh, either yourself if you know how to do it or pay someone to do it but you never want to assume anything so it's always really good idea to double check and degree them that is very cheap insurance when you're going down this whole list of parts to make sure your cams are giving you the best bang for your buck and it's degreed properly with the machine work, the cams, and the degreeing, 
that ran me $2,641.79. I feel like it's not too bad, honestly, and these cams, once we turn it up on E85, I think this car is really gonna perform 10,000 times better than it did before. The video that's about to hit 100,000 views, thank you guys so much for that. Super cool. That was one of my favorite videos to film. I think it was two summers ago at this point. Awesome was filming and we were just having a blast. It was our six month review on the On3 Performance Turbo Kit. And you can really see, actually someone commented recently, which is funny, but it, the car fell on its face between shifting. The turbo wasn't really great. I don't think the cams were really working the way they were intended to since they weren't spec'd for this build specifically. So a lot of factors, you know, but I think it was money well spent there. Totally worth the trip. Also, another note I want to throw in about the heads. Um, I never had them ported or polished, so they are PI heads, and yeah, they're not ported or polished, so I'm super excited to see what these unported PI heads can actually do. I think we're going to have some great success with it, um, tying in everything from the bottom end, the turbo, the compression, and all the other supporting mods we have with it. So yeah, it pretty much wraps up the top end, and we'll jump into a summary. All right guys, all that being said, we have arrived at the end of the video, the final number to build a two valve that's capable of, you know, about a thousand horsepower, including the short block, the heads, the cams, all together. The final cost on this engine build for the long block was $9,380.26. My God, almost $10,000 just for the engine. That is, it's rough to say, but I'm super, super excited to finally be able to turn it up and not have to worry about piss and ring land cracking, something going wrong like that. It's gonna be freaking wild, but man, almost $10,000, it's, it's pretty damn close, but it was a wild ride waiting, park collecting, engine builder, putting it all together. I mean, it was, it was a crazy process to say the least, and I couldn't have done it without you know everybody involved so thank you so much the viewers too. you guys keep this alive so that about wraps it up for you know just the meat and potatoes of this two valve long block build I didn't even get into the whole aftermarket return style fuel system that's another large bullet to bite on um, our catch can here there's a lot of odds and ends that you also have to factor in here um, once you start increasing your horsepower and how much we want to make and push this car in the engine but like i said the meat and potatoes it's almost 10 g's on top of that we've put a lot more into this car we have a whole nother video how much we spent on the turbo kit and some of the accessories there so it, it, you gotta pay to play man i'm super excited for this season though i definitely want to hit up the drag strip unfortunately there's i think only one left in new jersey at least a decent one um, it's about half an hour 40 minutes from my house so definitely want to get into that a little bit see what this car can run on the quarter mile safely once this weather kind of switches and springs officially here it's it's very close i'm gonna get the e85 tune dialed in and i've been having some issues with exhaust clearancing I'm down here running full exhaust so i'm debating on running the bumper exit like a lot of people do or maybe having someone help me custom fabricate so there's better clearance essentially and also to hear those cams i can barely hear the cams chopping away with those mufflers so i might just bite the bullet on that dump it right out here we'll see on that but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it's pretty much going to wrap today's video up and if you have any comments or questions you know you know where to drop them right down below but let me know what you want to see next video wise besides you know the first ride on e85 and tuning street tuning basically so that's going to wrap it up see you next time peace